To be totally honest, I'm not even sure how I really got to this point. Roughly over the last two months, I've gained about eight to 10 pounds of mostly body fat. And the reason why, looks like these are stuck together. Huh. I guess pure protein didn't uh, package these as well as they should have. So as you guys can see from the title of the video, even though I did gain a decent amount of fat, I'm on a journey right now to lose body fat. So I'm in a mini cut. I currently eat about 250 grams of protein a day. I eat roughly 300 grams of carbs and 60 grams of fat. Now this doesn't mean that you should be doing those exact same macronutrients. It all depends upon your genetic makeup, your current activity level, and how much you work out, where your macros should honestly be. The best way to start to figure out where your macros should be is just to track what you're already eating. Get a rough idea of how many calories you consume on a day-by-day -day basis. And then from there, you can start to play around with the numbers a little bit. But like I said, my second meal of the day, I'm having two pure protein bars before I hit the gym. Then I actually have a third one that I'm gonna eat after I hit the gym. There's a little bit of research that shows that eating protein before you work out can be more beneficial for helping to stay in that anabolic state even more. But to be totally honest with you guys, that's not why I'm eating this before I go to the gym. It's just because it's my second meal of the day. My first meal of the day, I'll show you guys right here. I actually had 65 grams of rolled oats. These are a little bit lower calorie oats. I usually get them from Costco. And then I mixed it with a little bit of cream of wheat. I think that was 50 grams of cream of wheat. And then I had exactly 195 grams of egg whites. Now, why do I know these things down to the gram? It's because I weigh out my food before I eat it. One last thing I forgot to mention, I did put honey in it and that was 21 grams. So one serving of honey. And then secret cheat code right here, you can use sugar-free vanilla syrup that they put in the coffee. That's a way to keep your food pretty sweet with getting no calories in. So the reason I weigh out my food is because when I'm in this mini cut, my goal is to try to get down in weight as quick as I can. So it's not meant to be, you know, a nice sustained diet phase where I'm losing roughly one pound or, you know, 0.75 of a pound every week. This is meant to be in and out and get back to gaining more size, jump back into a surplus pretty soon after. Mini cuts are great because they allow you to reset your physique just a little bit to help you get back into that surplus phase so that you can gain weight in an appropriate manner and not worry about gaining too much body fat. The last time I had a pure protein bar before a workout, it actually didn't go that well, but they weren't the double chocolate deluxe flavor. They were the chocolate peanut butter or something like that, peanut butter caramel. Yeah, it didn't really sit that well on my stomach, but these are my favorite, so. Hopefully it'll be pretty decent. So this is my first real leg day, probably about a month and a half, almost two months. Probably asking yourself, why am I focusing on these two lifts before I were getting to something like a squat on a leg day? It's because while I'm losing body fat in this current calorie deficit, I'm hoping to gain a tiny bit of muscle mass because my training hasn't been good for a number of weeks now. There'd be times I took training serious and other times I didn't. So the hope is that maybe I can gain a little bit more muscle even while dieting down. And in particular, my hamstrings and my calves are just weaker muscle groups for me. And now it's not like I don't want my quads to grow. Again, they're just more overpowering for my physique. Ooh, that about killed me. Yeah, those sets of squats really almost did me in. They were real brutal. Legs are tired, I'm tired. I mean, my legs can't really be tired without me being tired to some degree. But overall, I'm getting through this leg workout. I had one more leg exercise I was supposed to do today, but the machine is occupied and I've been here for way too long. So I'm gonna finish this workout up. And uh, I feel like it's about time I just talk to you guys about why I gained so much weight. Looks like I was trying to take it easy on myself at the very end. You didn't even mean to do that. It's cold out today. So let's break it down. About eight weeks ago, I started going through one of the roughest times I've had in my professional life. So without diving into too many details, I ended up in a pretty rough spot. And to be totally honest with you guys, I attribute those issues to me. So I'm a big believer in looking at yourself first rather than blaming other people. So when it comes to coaching, I feel as a coach, you know, I know my stuff and I try to be really reasonable with any and everyone that I work with. And I love making sure that I help people. But one thing I think that I've struggled with is the way that I started getting into more online coaching. So hear me out. A lot of coaches you'll see come from Instagram or some of them are even present on TikTok. And then of course you see some on YouTube. Coach being someone that can teach you how to lose weight, 
build muscle, get in better shape. So personally, I've gained a lot of my clients in the past through Instagram. I kind of started to grow my Instagram account through posting these short snippets. And so these snippets are great because you can get a lot of information in little bite-sized chunks. Information is only so useful at a point when it comes to coaching someone. You might learn more about how to lose weight. You might learn more about how you need to structure your workouts, but you don't necessarily get to live the lifestyle. And this is exactly why I love YouTube, because you guys get to come along with me for the journey and get to see details of my life. Like for example, this morning when I woke up, I woke up, started to take my check-in pictures right away, as you guys can see here. And in the background, even though you guys can't hear it, my daughter had just gotten up, so she did her usual morning cry. My wife was snapping the pictures that you guys see of me turning around and whatnot. So those little lifestyle bits get to show you and give you more accurate understanding of how this all comes together. You get to see what I eat. You get to see my choices and how I don't just go out and get junk food all the time and work out and, you know, just chill. It's a whole lifestyle. The majority of most of my days are spent either finishing my workouts, planning out my food, working, or hanging out with my family. Like right now, I was gonna take you guys on a walk with me, but even though it's super cold, it's a beautiful day out, and I wanna take advantage of the opportunity to go walk with my wife and daughter while we still got a little bit more sunlight and while the weather is this nice before it starts to get cold and rainy tomorrow. Even though I went and I dealt with some of these troublesome times with different clients I was working with, trying to figure out things on the back end, what ultimately happened is I kind of let myself go. The stress got pretty intense. And if you don't focus on it right now, I highly recommend that you do. Take care of your mental health. It is absolutely important. It's something that not just affects the poorest of the poor, but it also affects the richest of the rich and everybody in between. Just like you guys are taking care of your physical health, you must take care of your mental health in the same way. And so for me, what happened was I wasn't taking care of my mental health. So I ended up, you know, getting a little more stressed out, getting a little bit more depressed and trying to find a new way in life. And so now, fast forward eight, 10 weeks later, I'm in a better spot and I've even had a different career shift. So I'm not so focused on only training people in person and online. Actually, I'm entering into another career, which I'll save for another video for you guys. Basically, it's all about taking the reins. And what I wasn't doing at that time was I wasn't taking responsibility for a lot of things that I allowed myself to go through. And so I ended up eating, not working out very much, not moving around very much. And that's just a recipe to gain weight. It's just plain and simple. And so because I didn't take care of myself on the front end and wasn't proactive and ate a lot of things you know, as a result, not be so great for me. But again, now I'm seeing an upturn and basically I'm trying to focus on making sure that I'm giving more time to things that matter more, like my family. And even though I'm hanging out with you guys, yes, I still gotta get home pretty soon, but it's just all about finding those things that matter the most and then realizing, and this is probably the most important thing, what your ultimate goals are. One, I just wanna make sure my family's healthy and taken care of all the time. Two, I wanna make sure that I am healthy and taken care of, and that means focusing on things like my workout, making sure I do things to help my mental health, like going on longer walks, which in turn actually help, you know, with my physical health too, because it allows me to get my steps in. And even furthermore, focusing on spiritual health, you know, getting closer to God, if you are, you know, a believer in God. I'm Christian, so again, I just wanna say this, I don't judge anybody for any of your beliefs, so hopefully you guys know that. My channel is all about helping you guys with health, fitness, and overall well-being. Just wanted to throw that out there as far as making sure that you're grounded all around as far as all sorts of types of health and even emotional health. That's a very important thing too. There's times that I just try to make sure that my wife and I just spend time together outside of my daughter when she's napping or you know asleep at night um, and we just try to have dates and things like that. So overall, I'm in a better spot and again, in order for me to start losing weight and to get back to where I wanna be, now I'm focusing on making sure that I am tracking my calories, making sure I am getting my steps in, making sure I am working out. Being totally transparent, those three things alone do take up a decent portion of my day, but it's about what I care about, not necessarily the ups and downs of what I want right now versus what I want in two hours from now versus what I want a week from now. Overall, I wanna be in a better shape, better health, better well-being. So I have to make sacrifices in the short term. And the short term for me is the next eight weeks. Next eight weeks, pretty hunkered down. I'm planning on not really eating out at all. Planning on weighing out all my food, making sure I get all my steps in, 
making sure my workouts go great, and so forth. And then of course, post this eight weeks, I'm gonna still keep up with a lot of those patterns, but I'll be able to start to ease up a little bit on some of the intensity of those things. So that way I can get back to a more normal lifestyle and get into a bigger and more prosperous massing phase for when the next time I try to build some more muscle prior to this 2023 competition season. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here, guys. I am gonna get home, get on that walk that I keep mentioning. So thank you guys again for tuning into the channel and I'll catch you guys pretty soon. Peace.